Hi, this is a review for the Nosatec. Sorry, the Nosatec Ionic Heating Brush for hair straightening, and it. I had to actually read the directions on this um, because there are two buttons. There is an on and off button, and then there's a button down here that you see lit blue, and that's the Ionic button. So the way you do it is you plug it in first and then you turn on the ionic button, which will then turn blue. Then you hold down the on off button for three seconds and then some red LED numbers will pop up with um, the temperature. And then you just go ahead and tap up to scroll through and set the temperature. I like to set mine at 190 degrees centigrade which is equivalent to 375 Fahrenheit. Um, that's about the hottest I can get it before it starts actually burning my hair. Um, so it, it will flash and flash and flash until it's ready. So it's ready now, it takes about a minute. Um, so we're ready to go. Um, I would like to state it is hot. You can definitely feel the heat coming off of it. But as you see, I'm touching the bristles and it's not burning my hand because they're, and I'm sorry about the lighting, because they're coated on the end. So you can actually run this right up against your scalp. So um, I'm ready to start straightening my hair. Now as you see, the bottom part of my hair, I have naturally curly hair. The top part of my hair is not. So I either have to curl my hair or straighten my hair, but I can't just let it go. So I'm gonna start straightening my hair and I'm gonna start on the underside because that's the part that's really curly so I'm just gonna clip it up right there and now I'm gonna start on this curly mess right here I should note that it says you can use just the ionic part for taking out frizziness which if you have curly hair or fine hair you know that it can uh, get kind of frizzy. So, I'd say that this is doing a pretty good job at taking the curls out of my hair. I don't really notice that it's any less frizzy. I just have really frizzy hair. But I'm pretty impressed. It's taking the, uh, it's taking the curls right out, so that's good. Um, some other things to note, you're not supposed to use this on wet hair as per the directions. You're not supposed to use this around water. Um, I think that's all the warnings that the directions had. But I'd say it's doing a pretty good job. Now would I use this and just this to straighten my hair? Probably not because it... I can't seem to get the ends to be straight. Either the ends will, will curl in or out depending on how you do it. So, but this does seem to be speedier than my flat iron. So I think how I might use this is I will use this first, go over my whole hair with it, and then um, finish up with my flat iron just to touch up. But uh, pretty speedy, I'm, I'm pretty impressed.